obviously being a Welshman myself, having this kind of event in the national sort of principality stadium of Wales is, is special. I've been here to watch rugby, football, concerts, and uh, yeah, it's always great that we come there for the Speedway and have a massive cosmopolitan of fans here from around the world. And I know there's an amazing atmosphere for everybody. I think any of the the tracks in stadiums, as you can see behind me now, they, there's something special about it because it, it really is big time. You know, I really respect the the sort of smaller stadiums and the club stadiums we have in the world. But when we can come to stadiums like this, it, it, it's a special atmosphere. And obviously with the two big ones being Warsaw here and uh, Cardiff, and hopefully in the next year or two, there'll be some more. So watch this space on that. But yeah, you know, it does, it's very good for the for the fans. It's good for the riders and their sponsors, you know, to show them in, in, in stadiums like this. So it, it's, it's an absolute pleasure to come to these places. Um, I think that gen generally it's a smaller track than most riders will be used to, especially in sort of European leagues like Poland and Sweden. It's a much tighter, but it is a very fast track. So um, I think every rider's got their own little uh, ways of dealing with it, what they do with bikes. A few have got some little tricks, which I won't divulge because that's not my job. But I, I am aware that some riders will do some different things with their bikes and they'll pull out a different engine specifically for Warsaw and Cardiff. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a little bit of a different beast, as you would say, compared to a normal league track. And, uh, and of course it changes every year as well, because even though it's very similar, there can be different characteristics to the track each year. As you all, you know, we all know what each year there's a different uh, winner, there's a different way it rides. Sometimes it can be around the inside, sometimes it can be outside. And uh, sometimes, as we know, they're a bit more patchy than others. We're aware of that. But yeah, it's, it's, it's a difficult thing for a team to work out. I think a lot more hard for the riders and mechanics to work out the actual, what they need to do. And that's why the qualifying practice is very important, I think. What Cardiff moments just stand out for you? Well, for me, it's probably being first person on the track and riding it as a test rider, as a test pilot. So that stood out for me a lot, obviously. But no, regards to the events, I would think probably Tony Rickardson's first bend when he, he rode around the fence, I think it was sort of that close to almost disaster. And uh, But it showed how much of a skillful guy he was to get to where he was. And that definitely stands out for me. I would say it's a fantastic family uh, sport that uh, I know it from my own heart that once the sport's in your blood, it's very difficult to get out of it. And it's, it's a sport that people need to see, I think. And if they do come along, hopefully they'll have a, a good enjoyment. Uh, even myself, I know I invited some friends last year that didn't know the sport. And uh, I'm, I'm not going to say, I know we had a difficult event last year. I'm not going to hide from that. But they had a great time. They enjoyed it and they're coming back. So hopefully we can have a fantastic event this year. That's the plan. Get some great racing, uh, get the fans back on board. And uh, yeah, let's go forward. Thank you.